Hi everyone! Today I'll be teaching you how to quarantine a file in a zip archive after scanning it for viruses in Power Automate. As a reminder, this will work the same way in Logic Apps as well. To perform this flow, we will be using the Cloudmersive Virus Scan Connector. Now, to get things started, we will click Create. On this page, we will choose Instant Cloud Flow, type in a name for the flow, select Manually Trigger a Flow, and press Create. Now, we're ready to begin. The first step of our process is going to retrieve the content from our source folder. The file I will be using is in SharePoint, so I will type Get File Content and select the SharePoint option. Next, I will select my SharePoint site address and the file path. After we have created the file content action, we will look up the Cloudmersive Virus Scan Connector, which is the dark blue icon here, and we'll select Scan a File for Viruses. It is important to note that if you've never used one of our connectors before, you will be prompted to enter your API key. This is free on the Cloudmersive website with no commitment, and once you've entered it here, you won't be asked for it again. Now I'm going to add my file content from the previous action. Moving on to the next step, I'm going to set a condition for the virus scan result. I will select clean result for my value and is equal to. Normally in the last value we would enter true, but since my test file is not an infected file, I'm going to set this as false. Now I will add my first action under if no by looking up the Cloudmersive file processing connector and selecting Compress Files to create a new zip archive. I will grab my file content for the first field and enter the file name again in the next field. After this, we can create our second if no action by looking up the Cloudmersive file processing connector again, and this time select Encrypt and Password Protect a zip file. Here we will select the output content from the Compress Files action. Create a password for the zip file and enter the encryption algorithm. The default is AES256, so that's what I'm using here. Once the condition is set, our last step is to create file action for our output. I will choose the desired location for my file, including the SharePoint address and folder path. Then I will add a name for the file and choose the output content from the previous action. Now we are ready to click the Save button at the bottom of the screen. It will take a moment to save your information, but once it's complete, you can click the Test button. We will choose the Manual option for testing the file, hit the second Test button, and then Continue. After that, we will click Run Flow and Done. After clicking Done, you will see green check marks next to the connectors showing that the flow worked. Sometimes it takes a second or two for all the check marks to appear, so don't stress if that happens to you. Now you can check the destination folder for your newly created zip archive. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe and check back in for more tutorials and tips on using Cloudmersive connectors in Power Automate.